Let's talk about hull surfaces. All right. Let's just talk about the actual surface. Sea-Doo is acrylic. Yamaha is automotive paint over fiberglass. And Kawasaki is gel coat over fiberglass. All right. That surface might be a little porous. That surface might not be perfect, but it's a smooth, it's a relatively smooth surface. The guy applied, I got the wrong pen. The guy applied the Gator Glide in this example to right, right above the at planing surface. This is as far as he went. For a straight line rider, this actually would speed you up. Not a lot, not a lot. We're talking fractions of a mile an hour. Because what it's doing is breaking up, it's breaking up surface tension, which in a straight line could effectively give you a little bit of an advantage because you're reducing drag. So people go, oh, I want it. Ooh, ooh, ooh this is good. This is good. And this is why a lot of uh, this is why a lot of people on Facebook and in the forums will say, I put Gator Glide on my ski and I picked up half a mile an hour. So they're not lying when they say I picked up a quarter of a mile an hour or a third mile or half a mile an hour. It's because they are. They're breaking up surface tension. All right. Here's where it gets sticky. What happens when you lay that ski over into a corner and that water is making contact and that water wants to make contact with all of this surface? Now that water runs up the gator glide, hits a step, and suddenly makes contact with the outside chine or the outside lip of your hull. You know what that does right there? You know what water is going to do when you when it makes that step right there? It's going to go you know, slick, smooth, slick, 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 bite. That bites, it pulls over, and it can throw you over the other side. All right? Because this, it's going to rebound off of this, and it's going to high side you, and it'll throw you. All right? Any of these surface protectives will do the exact same thing when it comes to grit. All right? It's breaking up your surface tension. Rhino liner is the worst, because Rhino liner will literally, you, you, what, you have something else that happens, is that Rhino line hull is breaking up the surface tension so much that it's agitating the water. It's actually causing a molecular, it's actually causing molecular action. It's breaking up the interface layer, all right? What does that do? That produces heat. It's friction, all right? Rhino liner will slow you down hard because it literally breaks up the interface layer and creates heat, and heat is the byproduct of friction. Okay, that is a huge deal. So factory hull, Gator Glide, Rhino. This one is just absolutely the worst thing you could possibly do. This this will get you hurt. Gator Glide becomes interesting because it's not necessarily that it'll slow you down, but it's effectively having bald tires because it starts breaking up your surface. All right. It starts breaking up your surface tension. So I started talking to some racers, guys who raced Aqua X, guys who raced close course. And I said, all right, I got a question for you. And they go, yeah, what do you got? What about hydrophobic protectants? And they go, oh, you mean like waxing it or ceramic coating? I said, yeah. And a bunch of Yamaha racers they thought it'd be really cool to go out and get that super slick 2000 stuff. It's a, it's a hydrophobic coating. It's interesting. Okay, so Sea-Doo, the rep from Sea-Doo, we were talking about this kind of stuff. And he says, well, Kevin, you know what the guys used to do at World Finals? And I go, well, yeah, they used to drag their skis up on the launch ramp. They used to drag their brand new skis up the launch, off the, the cement launch ramp. And he goes, yeah. And he said, this stuff, what this allows is zero. Because it's hydrophobic, 
because ceramic coatings and these super slick additives or super slip uh, super slick coatings, what that does is that effectively makes your ski completely completely erratic in the water, especially in a corner. Do not do your entire hull because your ski will be completely and totally unruly in cornering. Okay. Absolutely do not. For, this is the bond line. <laughs> Cross here's the bond line. If you go and ceramic coat the whole thing, it'll look wonderful. It'll look great. It'll look beautiful. But you're going to have no traction. Now, I talked about racers and racers scuffing, scuffing the hull. And people go, well, that doesn't make any sense. That goes against everything Kevin said. Here's an old trick, and I actually brought it up here. I actually put it right here. I don't know if it's too small for people to read. I said, secret racer trick. Number one, they would take like a two-foot or a three-foot piece of wood, wrap it in sandpaper, and they sit there with 220 grit, and they true the hull. Well, what does it mean to true the hull? Truing the hull is the factory hull, and I don't care what ski it is. I do not, it does not matter. The brand, the model, the year, every hull comes out of the mold doing this. <laughs> it just, woo, there are high spots and low spots in every ski. I have never seen a ski that is true out of the factory ever in my life. I've never heard of one. I've never seen one. All right. So racers have to go in there with a with a sanding block and sit there and grind and true the hull. Make sure that there's no low spots. Make sure there's no high spots. Get it filled in. Get it nice. All right. And so it's really, it's really not that, it's really not that rough. Okay. And, but it's rougher than the factory hull. So why do we do that? Because a, a true hull is not going to have any, it's not going to have any inconsistencies. It's going to be nice and smooth. All right. And it's also going to break up a little bit of that surface tension. Now for you Yamaha guys who are like, but I want to protect my paint. What do I do? I want to do it. I don't want to scuff the hell out of it. I don't want to cover it in Rhino Liner. What do I do? Clear coat. Clear coat. It's as stronger, stronger than paint. It is stronger than paint in most cases. Clear coat. Get automotive clear coat with a flex additive. Apply that to the hull of your FX. No one will ever know. You will not see it. It's not visible. But apply clear coat with a flex additive, and you're done. It'll be the greatest thing you've ever had. You'll never have a problem with it. Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.